Hello and welcome to Health Potion, the show about games and health. I'm Jamie. And I'm Karina. And today we're talking about hydration. And why drinking enough water is really, really good for us. So Karina, why is water good for us? Well, we're about 50 to 65% water and all of our cells in our body have water in them and need water to function properly. So in short, if we don't have water, we cease to function as human beings. Pretty, pretty extreme stuff. How much water should I be drinking per day? Well, I think it's really important to gauge when you're thirsty and when you're just kind of hungry and a bit bored. So I always encourage people to drink when they think that they're hungry or getting really tuned with how they feel and making sure they're drinking enough when they're thirsty. Otherwise, I get them to aim for about two liters a day because it's a really good target to set, especially if they're chronically dehydrated. So let's just see what two liters looks like. So here is one liter of water. And then this is half a liter of water. So if we have two of these, one Plus of these, these guys or just two of those however you want to do the math um every day that, that seems every pretty day. achievable because you can like that's half of it and you can kind of like just hold it in your hands yeah especially if you break it up so sitting down and drinking one of these twice a day is probably going to be very fatiguing and you're probably not going to want to do it but if you break it down to like you know one of these four yeah. of those or four yeah and you do like <laughs> 250 mils every now and then you're going to be a lot happier and a lot more compliant. So let's look at some top tips of how to drink more water. Now, my first tip would be uh, to have either a drinking app or reminders on your phone. These don't always work for everyone, but there are plenty of options that can suit different people. There are um, apps on the Android and iOS stores that have things where if you drink a cup of water, then you're able to give your plant a cup of water and you watch your plant grow. And these are fun because these are added like a reward based system for drinking. Um, I personally find these more difficult because I didn't have to remember that I did drink and then it just makes, um, it complicates the step for me. Um, so I much prefer setting a reminder on my phone and so every hour it will go, don't forget to drink and you just make sure that you are drinking every hour. Even if you don't set a reminder on your phone, you can always just kind of set yourself a time to go, oh, it's this hour o'clock. I should have some water and that way you constantly just look every time you look at the clock you go oh yes drinking and you just um, associate the time with drinking and it seems like it's all about building that habit as well like if you have a set time when you have a glass of water you know you have to actively participate for a while but then it just becomes a habit and you just do it every day naturally and with the apps it sounds like it's a really great reminder of how important water is for us as like human beings to function as in your you know watering a plant and you get to watch the plant grow and you realize that it's actually good for the plant and that in a subconscious way is telling you it's good for you as well tip number two leave the water everywhere so i'm a big fan of just leaving bottles of water everywhere that i go so in, at my desk in my car at work you know, even in my bathroom, I've got a bottle of water. In your handbag. In your handbag. Although full ones can be heavy. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the stainless steel small ones, which you can just like refill anywhere. Um, because that way, if I'm there and the water's there, I tend to drink it when I feel even the slightest bit thirsty. And that gets me at about two liters a day. I like sometimes having the little aeroplane water bottles. If you get them on a plane, I just kind of keep them and then I just refill. So you've got that little tiny one cup of water in your bag, just in case you ever need it. I find having water in your bag is not useful just for hydration, but if you ever need to take any medication or pills while you're on the go, you've always got something uh, to swallow it with. Yeah, exactly. Accessibility. Key. Tip number three is to actually write on your water bottle little reminder marks um, and things to aim for as you go throughout the day. So this is your first one liter you're going to try and get through. You can put a little, little mark that says, you know, 10 a.m. here. And then you want another little one that says like 12 p.m. And then you want another one that says 2 p.m. And then you get another one that says like 
4 p.m. And that way, as you go throughout your day, you got you know how on track you are with your drinking. Once again, this is another like reminder and reward technique where you can kind of congratulate yourself for hitting a mark, or if you're not quite there, you can go, okay, I need to ramp up how much I'm drinking. Yeah, and it's a really low tech, easy thing you can do pretty much instantly as long as you've got a pen and a water bottle. Tip number four, have a glass of water before you eat. It's really, really simple. If you have a glass of water before your meal or have it like while you're having a meal, you're instantly going to get at least three extra glasses of water. It's a really simple and easy thing to do. And a lot of the time we think that we're hungry when we're actually really thirsty. So as you make yourself a snack or as you're preparing dinner, just have a glass of water. And that way you're actually less likely to overeat to the capacity where you're not actually feeling very well anymore but you're more likely to eat the amount of food that you should be having. And like Jamie said, it's a great way to instantly get at least three glasses of water in. Karina, what if I hate the taste of water? Well, it's kind of common, I think, nowadays for people to not like the taste of water because we have all these great flavored drinks that you know we like to have instead. But it's really, really important that we do just drink water without all of those extra kind of sugars and flavors and colors in them because they're just not that great for us. So a really cheap and easy way to make it water taste better is just to cut up a bit of like lemon or lime or even mint, orange, put that in your water and that just gives it a little bit of a fruity flavor and nothing bad for you. So that's one really great tip. Another one that I love to do in winter is herbal tea. So like non-caffeinated herbal teas, basically it just flavors the water and it's a bit warm. So it's a little bit kind of nourishing throughout the winter months. Speaking of caffeine, does caffeine hydrate? Dehydrate? Well, that's what everyone says. Caffeine dehydrates you. It's not so much the caffeine that dehydrates you. It's the fact that it's a stimulant. So that means that a lot of people react by having to go to the bathroom and evacuate their bowels or urinate because the stimulants activating that process. So it's not the caffeine that dehydrates you, it's having to go to the bathroom. But I think a great way to negate any effect of that is if you're having like a coffee, have a glass of water beforehand. So Karina, let's be serious. What are the symptoms of dehydration and what can happen when you're dehydrated? So a lot of people don't realize that they're dehydrated, but because it's so common for people to be dehydrated nowadays, they don't realize that they might be getting frequent headaches, they might be getting muscle cramps, um, even your skin elasticity deteriorates or when you're dehydrated, and also your blood volume drops. So that's why it's so important for getting those nutrients to where they need to be. You need the blood to do that, and if the volume drops, it's not doing it correctly. So chronic dehydration is really, really common. And the number one sign that you'll notice first is a dry mouth. So if your mouth is a bit dry, it means you're not drinking enough water. Oh dear, I should drink some water. Um, but they'll also get fatigue, so loss of energy. All of those things will happen when you're dehydrated. And I think it's really important that people recognize that those might be dehydration. A lot of people just think, oh, I've just got a headache. So it's really quite common. Uh, it's really important for all of our body functioning. So liver processes, gut health and motility, you know, cognitive function. So you might be a bit foggy, not thinking very clearly. Um, you know, all of those things kind of bad. <laughs> and uh, gut motility for anyone who doesn't understand that just means pooping good. Good yep. pooping. <laughs> I, I think we'll put a, a Bristol stool chart in here somewhere and you should all be aiming for a type four on the Bristol stool chart type four. Let's let's see how good my editing skills are. Um, if not type four. Type Google four. It. Google it. Bristol stool chart. Let's wrap this up. Right. Drinking is good for you. Drink more water. In fact, before you do anything right now, before you even like click subscribe, before you watch our other videos, just right now, stop. Don't you, you can pause the video if you want, or I'm just gonna keep rambling until you go, leave, leave wherever you are, or if you've set up water everywhere, go and get some water and have some water right now. We'll see you when you had a glass of water. We're gonna wait here. We're gonna, we're gonna seriously, we're gonna yep. wait here for you to go and get some water. We're waiting and we're gonna have some we're of our own water. Some, yeah, we're gonna have some water.
You back? You, you hydrated? Congratulations! I'm hydrated! Yay! You're on your step to being healthier. Tick, tick. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, stay hydrated. Like, go, no, get go, the go. water! What in the hell? I Drink it! I shouldn't point this way because it puts a terrible shadow on my face, but that's fine. Mm. Where do I get shadow? I can point this way. I yeah, we're, we're quite way. well lit. Yeah, Phil did a good job today. You did a really good job. You did a good job. Okay. Drink when you're thirsty.